hello everybody today i'll teach you microwaves microwaves are the electromagnetic waves whose frequency ranges from 1 gigahertz to 1000 gigahertz yeah these electromagnetic waves are called microwaves because of the tininess of their wavelength generally the wavelength ranges from few tens of centimeter to fraction of millimeter here one example is given and the frequency is a minimum that is 1 gigahertz then the wavelength is generally 30 centimeter and when frequency of 1000 gigahertz then wavelength is 0 0.3 millimeter band designation and their frequency ranges the here the whole range of microbes are divided into many bands these bands are LRS and their frequency ranges are given now the what now what are the advantages of microwaves microwave many advantages such as large bandwidth availability micro mm, the range of 1 gigahertz to 1000 gigahertz so many information can be transmitted simultaneously improves directivity next uh, advantage is input directivity of antenna the beams radiation reduction in antenna size as the frequency increases the size of the antenna decreases example one example is given and the frequency is three gigahertz then wavelength equal to 10 centimeter and the diameter is 1400 centimeter and at and on the frequency 3300 giga then the wavelength becomes 0 0.1 centimeter and the diameter of the antenna will be 14 centimeter so we see that when the frequency was 3 giga the diameter of the antenna was 1400 centimeter and on the frequency is increased to 3300 gigahertz then the diameter of the antenna becomes 14 centimeter thus we see that we need a small antenna for higher frequency the next advantage is that power gain increases the radiation power is given by this formula and so as the frequency increases wavelength lambda decreases and the power will increase the power will increase the P is inversely proportional to wavelength so when wavelength decreases then the power will increase so gain of the antenna will increase next advantage is less padding effect and so it will be more reliable padding effect is more at lower frequencies and and with the increase of frequency the padding effect decreases so the information will be more reliable we can have more information the next advantage is power requirement is low 
transmitter or receiver power required is low at microwave frequency. So, in the increase of frequency, the less amount of power is required to transmit a signal. The next advantage is that this space communication is possible. You know that uh, the low frequencies are reflected back into the earth station towards the earth by the ionosphere. So, in the, but the high frequencies like micro frequencies can penetrate through the ionosphere. So, the space vehicles or satellites which are beyond ionosphere can send us information or vice versa. We can also send information to the space vehicles or satellites. Next point, the study of sun and stars are possible as in the case of astronomical science.